Hey there, Louis Ocobalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a document library to a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you need to do before you can actually create a new document library is you'll need to navigate to the site that you want to add the new document library to. Now in this example, I am currently on the finance team SharePoint online site and I will be adding a new document library to this site. Next, you want to click on site contents. Now site contents is where you go to view all of the different elements that exist on a particular SharePoint online site. So you can see here, I already have a document library called documents. Now, whenever a SharePoint online site or subsite is created, uh, there will always be one default document library uh, called documents created. And then you can also see that I have some additional elements on this site. Specifically, I have two additional SharePoint online lists that I have created. Now to add a new document library, you want to scroll up and click on the new button. And you can see here, there are a bunch of different options. Uh, and specifically, you want to go ahead and click on document library. Next, you want to give your library a name. In this case, I am going to call this reports library and you could put in a description. I'll just repeat the name of the library. Uh, and next, you're going to see this option here that says show in site navigation. Now, specifically what this is referring to is whether or not this library should be displayed in the SharePoint online quick launch. The quick launch, if you're not familiar with it, is the navigation options or links that are displayed on the left hand side of your SharePoint site. Uh, now, I am going to check this off and I will show you how you can actually go in and change that after your library has been created. Next, you want to click on create. And there you go, you can see that your new library has been created. Now, for example, if I were to return to the homepage of my SharePoint site, uh, because I did not check show this library in the quick launch, you can't actually see the library anywhere from the homepage. Um, so to access the contents that exist on your site, you want to go ahead and click on site contents. And this is where you are going to be able to view uh, your document library and specifically the new library that we just added. Now, if you wanted to add this document library to the quick launch after creation, what you want to do is you want to click on the show actions button and click on settings. This is actually going to bring us into the settings for this specific library. Uh, and you can always tell where you are in SharePoint online following what is referred to as the breadcrumb trail. So you can see here the name of our library, reports library, and as I hover over this, this is actually a hyperlink. So if I click on this, it's going to bring me back into my document library. And then you can see at the end of this, it says settings. So this indicates we're in the settings for this particular element, which is our document library. Um, now to add this library to the quick launch, um, after you've already created it, you want to click into list name, description, and navigation. And right at the bottom here, you can see display this document library on quick launch. And if I click yes and save, you can see here that this reports library is now displayed as a link on the quick launch bar so that we can easily navigate to it. Now, if you wanted to perhaps change the name of your library after you've created it, um, again, you want to come into the library settings and you want to click on list name, description and navigation. And here again, you have the option to change the name. So I will just go ahead and call this reports library two, and I will click save. And we can see here that the name has updated to reports library two, and it has also been updated in the quick launch. 
Now, the last thing that I will show you is how to delete a document library. So um, this is good if you've ever created a document library and perhaps it's uh, redundant or it's a duplicate. So to delete a document library, again, from this settings menu, you want to go ahead and click on delete this document library and you are going to be prompted with a message here and this says this document library will be removed and all of its files will be deleted. Are you sure you want to send this document library to the site recycle bin? If you go ahead and click OK, then this library is going to be deleted and it's going to be sent to the recycle bin. Now, if you did want to restore this, you know, if you've accidentally deleted it, uh, again, you want to click into the site contents, which is the screen that we're currently on, and you want to go ahead and click on recycle bin. And you can actually see the reports library here. And if I wanted to restore this, I can check this and I can go ahead and click on the restore button. And this is going to bring back the document library as you can see in the site contents. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a document library. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials. I'm Louis Ecobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.